Hey, my name is Aries, and it is good to be back. So, if you saw the title, then you know that I graduated college a year and a half early, which means I was only in college for two and a half years. There's a lot that went into that, so that's why I want to make this video. That's one of the reasons why I want to make this video because the short story is that, okay, I had AP classes in high school and I took winter and summer courses in college, boom, right? But that's not really the whole, like I want to be very specific with you guys. I want to be very technical because there's a lot that goes into it, like other than that. And I just want to show you guys how things, how credits add up, uh, where they come from, how they translate from high school to college and things like that. Another reason why I'm making this video is because I'm sick of people asking me, okay? <laughs> I, you know, I love you. I love each and every one of you, right? But I've had at least 50 to 75 people ask me and that and I still could be wrong that is, there still could be more people who ask me but at least 50 people have asked how did you graduate so early how did you graduate so early right one thing I can say is I did not go to I didn't go to community college or junior college whatever you call it right I didn't do that someone also asked me if I graduated high school early which I didn't do that either so this is just going to be me explaining technically how I graduated college early. Normally when you graduate college you're 22 but I am 20 so that's I'm pretty proud of that you know. I do have notes here on my phone and we're just going to get right into it. So one thing to remember in college is that there are no like grades right so if we you know when we're in high school elementary middle and high school right they'll say what grade are you in you'll be like oh i'm i'm in 11th grade or 12th grade or you know i'm a junior senior right your status in high school like if you're junior or senior goes by how many years you've been there right so if i've been in high school three years then you can automatically assume that i'm a junior give or take everyone's different right but most of the time if this is my third year in high school I'm a junior if you're in college that's different so in college whatever year you are and when I say year I mean like your status so freshman sophomore junior or senior whatever year you are depends on how many credits you have like I said I was there for two and a half years and was a senior in two and a half years you know so it's just based on how many credits you have okay as i go along i'll show you guys what the amount of credits add up to and how they equal what your status is if that makes sense so i can just have that like over here right so just to get into some things that helped me graduate so early first of all this i graduated from uw whitewater I just graduated last month so I graduated in December December 2019 and one thing that really helped me was that this college is very cheap okay at Whitewater each semester for me was about 7,000 like 7,400 I'll just you know like make a an estimate right you know there's other numbers after that but 7,400 was about what I would see on my student bill and that was every semester like for me that was for me Whitewater was the lowest costing college on my list I applied to five colleges and this was the cheapest one 7,400 every semester but what also helped me was financial aid scholarships and grants right so financial aid is your FAFSA the sooner you do your FAFSA, the better, right? A lot of people have problems with your FAFSA, like they request additional verification for like taxes or whatever. The earlier you do that, the earlier you can get that stuff figured out and the earlier you can get your money. 
when they give out money that stuff is first come first serve i'm not even kidding you so i was on my stuff i got stuff done and i was able to get the most amount of money that i could possible and like i said scholarships and grants okay grants please just look for grants like grants with a grant you don't have to pay any money back they just give it to you and it's yours there's not a lot of qualifications normally so you can just get the money it's almost like a guaranteed amount of money that you can get with fafsa you might get denied or accepted but with grants like you're gonna automatically get accepted if you reach uh, reach the requirements reach if you fulfill the requirements right and then scholarships i used to be so scared to do scholarships because i always used to think like okay well i'm gonna apply but then other people are gonna apply and i'm just never gonna get it right but let me tell you the more scholarships you apply to the higher your chance of getting picked for at least one of them right and some scholarships don't just pick one person some scholarships pick three five seven ten different people to give money to so make sure you're just being on top of that as well i did my last semester i did get picked for a scholarship so you know you just never know just make sure you're keeping up with the money side of things another thing that helped me was knowing how many credits i needed to graduate and knowing which classes were required in my major and my minor okay so over here or wherever i put it this is my academic advising report we're gonna call it the aar okay so my aar tells me how many credits i need to graduate how many classes i need in a certain section of my major how many electives i need to take whoop de whoop de whoop 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 knowing that really helps just so you don't get like backtracked or you know you end up having to spend more time at school one big thing that helped me understand my aar was going to my advisor and you don't have to go to just your advisor you can go to multiple advisors right like get all the help that you can get so you can understand what you need to do to get up out of there because nobody wants to be in school for 85,000 years okay so actually getting into how i got to where i am when i was in high school i took ap classes ap classes are classes where you learn like college material in a high school class uh, at the end of the class you'll take the ap exam right so you'll take the exam and if you pass the exam with a passing score then you'll get college credits on your college transcript okay so for me i took my ap exam for spanish okay took my ap exam for spanish i got a four now a passing score for spanish is a three so like i said i got a four so getting a four on the ap exam translated to a certain amount of credits that i would get towards my minor which was spanish my minor was spanish uh my major is psychology by the way i don't think i said that my major was psychology my minor was spanish so going back to spanish i got a four so with that four i got a certain amount of credits for my transcript okay and i can put i did some research i can put a picture here to show how many credits i got from that how many college credits i got from that four that i got on the ap exam i really hope i'm making sense so as you can see the amount of credits that i got for college from the ap exam took me to a higher spanish class so i think this was the fourth level of spanish at at whitewater so as you can see it was spanish 252 right when i got there i took the spanish class well i was taking the spanish class and my advisor let me know that if i passed that class with an a or b i could get retro credits okay retro credits how can i explain this basically i got the credits from the other classes that i skipped okay so like i said i skipped about 
three or four other Spanish classes because of the score that I got on the AP on the AP exam. I got full credit from the classes that I skipped plus the Spanish class I was already in. So that right there was 15 credits worth of Spanish that I already racked up, okay? I took another 18 credits that semester, okay? So the thing that I wanna say is that I took 18 credits that semester, but I was in remedial math. So if you take a remedial class in college, it doesn't count towards your GPA. You're just like, you're basically in that class I don't want to say for nothing, but it won't go towards any credits that you could possibly get. So, really I had 15 credits worth of Spanish and then 14 other credits from that semester, right? 15 plus 14 is 29, okay? So, to be a sophomore, I had to have... 24.9 credits. I already had 29 by my second semester of college. In my second semester, I took 17 credits. Just so you know, the max amount of credits that you can take is 18. That's something that I normally did. So 17 is what I took spring of 2018. And so if we add 17, 29 I'll be at 46 okay so still an outstanding like you know kind of an outstanding sophomore by the end of my second semester of college so summer classes came around and I took nine credits okay one thing you do need to know is that if you had financial aid for your school year, you can use that same financial aid for the summer, okay? Adding nine credits to this 46 brings me to 55, okay? Still kind of a sophomore. I need 59.9 to be a junior, right? So going into fall of 18, I did take another 18 credits, right? So plus 18 gives us that 73. I am now a junior because you need 60 credits to be a junior, right? So there I go. Winter classes, you can only take one. So I took one three credit class. So adding a three to that is 76, okay? So still got that junior stuff going on, whatever. Spring of 2019 I took 17 credits so adding 17 to that 76 93 that made me a senior I was a senior by the end of my fourth semester okay so y'all know y'all know I do it big so I took another nine credits summer of 19 so we're adding nine to that 93 giving us 102 okay so last semester fifth and final semester of college i went ahead did it big like i always do and i did another 18 credits which brought me to my 120. that was such a relief okay so i really hope that i explained this well enough Thank you so much for tuning in. I am so glad to be back. I think I want to upload every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So we'll see how that goes. When you see this, it will be a Thursday. So I will do my best to be consistent now that I'm out of school. And if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will be back with more videos.